what a show we're having. Welcome back to Jeff Kananga Live. We are live here at Citizen Television with Homa Bay woman rep Gladys Wanga on fire, as is Kandara, member of parliament, Alice Wahome. My goodness, you've made my work very easy today. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> you are doing all the talking. <laughs> and someone was asking you, let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, someone was saying, look, you talked about betrayal in the beginning. Yeah. Oh, betrayers each and everywhere. When Baba left NASA to go and do the handshake, a lot of his fellow NASA members felt betrayed. Yes, they felt betrayed. But why were they, there was no betrayal there because he simply went ahead. But it, without telling them? Because of the sensitivity of the issues at the time. And he came back to NASA and explained that these are the steps we're going to take in terms of bringing the country together. And that is exactly what he, the explanations he made. And they agreed. Remember, all these NASA principals supported the BBI. They all supported the BBI. I remember Mudavadi's signature on the, on the, on the, on the board. I remember Wetangula's signature on the board. Because once they were explained to where we were going as a country and what this was about, they agreed with it. So they can't call it betrayal because they agreed with the basis and the foundation for the handshake, which was the nine point agenda and which led to the BBI. And they signed and they campaigned for it and they ascribed to it. So I, I think um, I don't see betrayal in that context. Mm -hmm. and, to, and to you, the handshake destroyed everything. The handshake was a betrayal for, on both sides. You know, From their end, there was huge betrayal because li these are your principles or core principles, you've been working with them, you campaign together, assuming that the ideology and the issues that you are working on are the same. And it's okay you can be the person to be sent to go and negotiate, but have a meeting first. Don't go finish the business and then come and tell them. I think they had the right to feel betrayed. And I think it was obvious they were betrayed. And since then, things started falling apart in NASA. Until but, now, they are forming as a meal. When you come to Jubilee, it's the same. I, I think that the way Jubilee had conducted him itself the previous time was completely not the same way this time has been con you know, conducted. And uh, I have heard even William Ruto talking about it and that he allowed the president because that was okay. But it is the things that happened after the hardship that became betrayal day in, day out. Up to today, you cannot, this has never been seen in history, Jeff. A president? Betrayal of whom? It is not, you believe, the jubilee itself of a party. The party is completely now finished. I mean, we have just about 20 members of parliament, and we had 172 members of parliament. So you're betraying the people who voted for you because you know your actions are not being explained properly, are not being understood. I think the president has a lot to explain to the people who supported him and who voted for him. And we respect the president. But you see, you cannot go on and on and every action appears that it is very negative and you are, you know, you are not in cordial relationship with the people you were you know, working together cordially. And, and you know, uh, any, any discomfort in that high office becomes a discomfort to the country. And, and that's why maybe there was need for the, for the hardship. However, after that, why do you now remove Aris from a committee? Why do you change things the way they were being done? without explaining. Why do you not call PGs? Why is the party not functioning? Why is all this vitriol and, you know, and, and strong words being sent to undermine your deputy? And I think uh, it, it all, it's all there in, in the public that uh, the marriage is, is corrupted. Mm. We are in UDA and uh, Jeff, we are okay. We are at a good place. You're at a maybe, maybe it was bound to happen because in any event, you know, there are people waiting for endorsement. Presidency is not about endorsement, Jeff. Presidency is about you going to the people, speaking with the people, explaining yourself, sharing your agenda, and people accepting and buying in into your agenda. 
Okay, let's face it, both of you, none of the part, this so-called two-horse race, none of them can win or cross the finish line without the support of a further coalition, or let's say OKA, for instance. We are planning to first round. We are winning first round, that's our plan. With or without? With or without any. We are, you know, our first coalition partners are Kenyans. And that's why people misunderstood what we are talking about. And William Ruto is, you know, has gone to Kenyans. Now, he has other partners that who have come on board. But our agenda was to partner with Kenyans, Jeff, with bottom-up economic model. That is our selling point. Now, we have a new partner, you know, because uh, Weta, they are working very well. They have been working very well with Musadia uh, Mudavati. They're talking about Pesa Mufkoni. When you look at it, it's Lily again talking about the ordinary Kenyan. Okay. Jeff, Azimio is open mm. for partnerships. Azimio is open for partnerships. We don't just believe in winning the election. We believe in carrying with us as many Kenyans as possible. And that is why Azimio is open. We will welcome all parties, big and small, all partners, not followers, not this uh, thing of we are partnering with, uh, with Kenyans only because you want to maintain a monolithic single one-man show. We want uh, Kenyans to come on board. We want uh, parties to come on board. We want Oka to come on board. We want everybody to come on board so that as many of us as possible can cross that line together. And, there, and so that when we cross the line, we cross it not, a, not, not, not at a 50 plus one, no. We cross it convincingly, carrying as many Kenyans as possible with us. So I don't want to be arrogant and just stamp about how we are going to cross the line. What I want to say is that we are open for partnerships. This is the key pillar of Azimio La Umoja, and that is why it is called Azimio La Umoja. Is Baba open to backing somebody like he did in 2002, the ba Kibaki Tosha moment? Is Baba open to that? Baba or does has, he have to be the presidential candidate? Baba has announced his uh, presidential bid. He will be running, he will be going uh, forward, and people will come on board, and people will discuss, and people will agree. And Baba has said he's, he's running for the presidency. And remember, Jeff, before Baba said he was running for presidency, he didn't just come out in 2017 and said, I'm running for presidency, like some people did. He consulted. He went around the country. And by the way, he said, I'm, I'm open. I'm free. I'm, this country is more important than any of us. I am open to not even running at all. But Kenyan said, Baba, please continue. Let us have that Mandela moment. Let us be in this safe pair of hands. You know, Jeff, this place where I'm seated is where uh, one uh, Francis Atoli mm. was seated. And in his patriotic wisdom, he said, in who, he asked the question, in whose hands are Kenyans safe? And more and more, Kenyans have realized and are realizing and are coming to the agreement that we, are, we, that we have a safe pair of hands in Baba. A leader who has demonstrated that he can actually look back, step back, shake hands, even with, his, even with his worst nemesis, shake hands, shelve his ambition, ask for nothing about it, and put the country forward. Hmm. Hmm. The think ta tank for Azmi, obviously, the first number one think tank is Francis Atwari, your good friend. The second think tank is Murafe. The third think tank is... Why is she saying them like something is wrong no, with them? No, 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 no. Yes. The third and the fourth like and the fifth. Is wrong with them. I won't mention them, but they come from their county. Go on. And you see, you know, you know they, these are people who meet in boardrooms and they have been used to the old type of, uh, of politics where they thought, you know, they meet and they, you know, they connive and collude and go to Kenyans and lie to them. So, the, you know, and then they imagine that the whole community will now follow. You know, Kenyan, Kenyans are at another level now. They want you to go to them. You don't have to be taken by those, you know, those, you know, those multi-billionaire clubs and whatever, as you know, so no. you know about the Kenya I Foundation. Say, don't so I can people. tell you the last <laughs> time King at Wari uh -huh. talked, what and it's good because she has talked like. about at Wari. Go on. The last time at Wari talked, Obviously, he lost a lot of votes for Baba. 
Because the first thing he did is to threaten New Year leaders, you know, from Western, and saying that if you don't go to Bukungu, and you know, these are elected leaders, you know, you know, treat people with decorum and respect also. They will not be elected. They can forget. Okay, let me. If they go to Bukungu, so if they are relying on those kind really, of people to bring Mulima, to bring Mulima, okay. to let's say to bring Mulima and help him to climb Mulima, I can tell you, he will Teresa tomorrow, day after, until you know, there is no. I, you know, the way Alice is speaking, it's like he's speaking to an amateur in politics. I'm not, I'm he's not, not speaking to a political I'm, I'm, amateur. I'm he speaking, is speaking to hmm. an exp he is speaking about an experienced politician who people have written off many times, by the way, and has still emerged to be what it is, what he is. So, you know, Ali is talking about boardrooms like uh, like uh, Ray Lodinga or, or even Francis Atoli. Francis Atoli has been at the helm of the trade union for all the years he has. By the way, he has been going back and back and back. That is high voltage politics, including at global levels. You cannot speak about somebody like that as if he does not know how to look for his votes. If you want to know, look at the Western governors. Are they, are they with uh, the, the, Buddha? The governor, no, 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 the, I'm speaking and yeah. Alice was speaking and I was Jeff, quiet. Mm -hmm. She knows why so the governors are there. Just, just, and she doesn't want me to say about no, it. No, 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 MPs. Look at the ones uh, Musali thought he was living with. They are all, they've all, they've mostly said they're in Azimio, even the ones from wherever else. So therefore, you've seen how the migration has been. So this story of that he, oh, you know, he threatened lawyer leaders, what have you. Politics is what it is, and the people she has mentioned here. And by the way, Alice today has mentioned so many people's names, including throwing in Jeanette's name under uh, a, a Kemsa, a mm -hmm, non-existent mm -hmm. Kemsa thing, and she should withdraw that statement. But Kemsa is not that existent. Is, because it is, it is not true. No, you know, no. for you to throw someone's no, name but you in know a Kemsa thing, and, and that, then there's no proof for it. Wanga. Parliament has investigated Kemsa. I've never heard Jeanette's name. DCI and all these people have investigated ah. Kemsa. I've never heard Jeanette's name. So to her to come to I'll the send show you. I'll and send speak. you the name and speak about it until company. she brings evidence she shouldn't uh, uh, speak about it okay your you response, know she was response? here she was here talking about how william ruto i just spoke about facts. should be talking about or you know should be maybe giving uh, you know evidence or saying what happened to arwa and Kem, you know but Kemarwa. he spoke about it he you said know, you know the Peter way you lost. know you are saying he's responsible you remember the dpp himself saying that uh, that has nothing to do with William Ruto. Indeed, the investigations today have, uh, you know, where, how far, himself. how, how far have they gone? He should give more how far have they gone? You, when, know, yeah. you, know, you know, Wanga, those, those, what, those cases are still the, in court. The, the this individuals aren't here This to government themselves. of Hadishik has politicized all those cases, selective, you know, application of the law, the, you know, rushing. They are Alice is KRA, running away from rushing. that real question. Well, what, you know, you, you asked, he asked me, those cases are still in court, yes. not just those cases, Jeff. Many cases that but, were rushed but to Kemsa, court. And have you had anybody on the handshake being taken to court? No, but Jeanette so, you has, know, all Jeanette these governors, any, all these governors, just wait Kemsa. until the time is over. All these governors, Behind Baba, we'll find themselves. All, all right, let me ask you, ladies. The look. files are complete. Now you are threatening them. And I was in justice and legal affairs. Now you are threatening the governors I, who are supporting Baba. No, I was in Baba. justice and legal mm -hmm. affairs. This is what I told you exactly. Go, go to there the Senate. There is going to be Jeff. victiveness. Go okay. to the. Go. There is going to be. You, did you hear what Ali said? Go A to the Senate. You will find all these governors behind Baba. They will find themselves in court. What did I say earlier? Yeah, because Ang anger, no, bitterness. You, you see now, the government you is see, going to have vengeance. See, Wanga, arrest. Wanga, Wanga is, is rising again. Is that because? Mm. But you know, Wanga, criminal cases will continue to be investigated. And but why are you targeting certain people and saying because they are we know? For you. Mm. Because we know. Even they talk about it. Their files are complete. Jeff. a good number of them files are complete. And but, you, you know this for a fact. Oh, I know. For, so, I know as that as for a fact. And why aren't they in court or in jail? Because that is what they are trading in to support Baba. And this is straight from you. I mean, as no, who? Jeff. You, you, I mean, that's speculation. I'm a member of parliament. But we don't do so cases. National, no, we don't do information cases in parliament. In, in, information comes. We do legislation. 
oversight is in Parliament. Yeah. And information, well, at least we Jeff, don't see files, the uh, amount of information we receive even from the public and the public servants is a lot. Directly and indirectly. So I, well, I, but I still, how come we don't know this? How come it's not out there? Because the government is using the criminal justice system to fight William Ruto. Who doesn't know, Jeff? You live in this so, country. So let me ask you, Jeff. You live in this let country. Let me ask you, Jeff. How many of our Ferdinand members... That's a very, that's a very serious White. statement. Yes. Ferdinand White no, no, it's a true statement, ...has been Jeff. charged in court yeah. with it's corruption, true including statement. taking land from a widow. Okay? He was even impeached in the Senate for those very evidences. And he has been charged in a court of law. So are you saying Ferdinand Waititu did not do those things? So why do, would you say, regardless, he has been charged? With all those, of uh, course. Money. If the, even let me ask you, they will charge you. They will corrupt? charge Alice. They will not charge yeah, you. They, yeah. they will not charge Junet. But they will is... not charge Badi because they are using the criminal justice system. But we are supposed to, to be charged for what? To, imi to intimidate? Well, no. To harass, what are we being we charged know. for? We and haven't we, told them. Some of the anything. information, Jeff, uh, incidentally, okay. comes that. from the Hold on. investigating How officers. About Alice Wahome. How come she hasn't been touched? Yeah, I don't have a file myself. Exactly. In fact, if you don't have a file, you won't be. Charged. I don't but if have, you have a file, no, no, no. You, know? you must I, be charged. If you Jeff, if you have a file, how, how Jeff, do you know? Jeff, you know yeah. those people who have been working with the government, and and you know, the the some are just partners or friends. You know, you have even seen friends of of, of members of parliament being taken to court jointly with them, and they have even been told, "You leave William Ruto, we are going to release you." By who, who said that? Come on, uh, no, the, that's, that's an allegation. But, but no, it's not an allegation. Are we, are we just in yes. a gossip you, uh, you know, place? She said, she said, yeah. give us an example. No, no, she said, Rigathi Gashagwa has court. been charged in court. Yeah. Do you know Rigathi Gashagwa? But he's not and here. He's no, not no, here right now. He's my friend. He's your friend. He okay. will not take any action against you or against me. Or against Lord. Yeah, but let's not talk about him because he's not here. No, you okay? know, she's the one who raised the name. I asked you about Alice. And you said there's nothing. Uh, and Gladys. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, Jeff, okay. Okay. where the problem with this country is that the truth has been rendered useless. And this country's levels of deceit and dishonesty and the way we have abused the law and impunity, we are back to the days of single party system under hardship. But you see rhetoric. Under hardship. What Alice is doing under is hardship. rhetoric. Yeah. What she should do for the benefit of Kenyans is deal with specifics. For example, say Gladys Wanga is supposed to be charged for ABC, but she hasn't been charged because she's in the handshake. But you know, she's just rumamongering as far as mm. this place is concerned. She's using big words, but nothing specific. When I, everything I have spoken here I have substantiated by things that are already in court or elsewhere. Gradis, is it the first time a government has taken people to court? You know, don't lie here. Is it the first time a government has taken people to court on trumped up charges? Is it the first I'm time? I'm not lying about anything. No, no. Is, it the is this the first time? You know, and you know. I don't know you. You, you remember. That's where you know. You remember. Tell us. You are still in opposition, Tell us. but you are now in a in a in a what? <laughs> a, a by something. You just said I'm lying. A, a, I a by lie a by a by something. Anything. You know you know Gladys. <laughs> Kenyans know. You know you will convince nobody. You better even accept that this government has failed. Certainly on the criminal justice system, the fight against corruption. Why have we not achieved, Jeff? It's because most of those files don't even have evidence. It's because. They want us to stop supporting William Ruto, according to them. Once they take you to court, you will be scared and run away. And true, some members of parliament will join our <laughs> coalition, maybe by next week, third week. And they were worried because they know that they were trying to get files which don't exist. And police can take you to court, by the way. This, this, this DPP has been very good. 
Sounds like so you there, know. There are, there, are many, there are many files that he has rejected, the deep, the deep, that he has rejected and returned the to the we, we don't the, know this for a fact. How do we know? How do you know? And the DPP... I wish you would tell you, us. You know the, the files... The very DPP they have been fighting and saying is being used politically hmm. is the we, same we one have, he is accepting. We, we really have not been fighting DPP. It's the DCI that we have a problem with. You saw even like this case of... Uh, of, of, of the, let's not bring, that's another whole That's another subject. story altogether. It's a yeah. very long story. Okay. <laughs> let, let me ask the you DCI this. The DCI is uh, being fought for doing his work. Simple. Okay, let the me DCI ask. is thorough. The DCI does his job. He does it well. And it, it can't be stomached. The DCI is fearless. Nobody is untouchable as far as the DCI judge. You see, you see to, Jeff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's move off that topic real I quick. I think let's move yes. on. But, but if Azimio intend to win, elections using the criminal justice system because the system is available for them. They have even told some of our members of parliament but rumors, move Jeff, the ones who have rumors. been taken those, those to court. Just, we cannot speculate. Rumors. We cannot The ones who have, have just been, been like a rumor mill here. We are not a rumor mill. I'm talking about my <laughs> colleagues, Jeff. Yes, let's talk about you, not your colleagues. They're not here. I'm talking about my colleagues. Okay. Women and politics. You have been in this game for a few years. <laughs> yeah. can, can the tone change? Is the tone of women in politicking different from men? Can it be different? Can it? Mm. And the reason is why are there the, more women? The, 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 the tone of women even now is much better. It's different. I think it is more reconciliatory. There is less violence in women um, uh, 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 units of elections. And I think that uh, they the, the women would provide a different leadership, even in terms of governance. Yeah, but sometimes in we parliament, have lost, we behave, have lost, behave like the men. Huh? We, we, yeah, because they have filled in there. You know, it can be toxic sometimes until even communicating is a problem, Jeff. Eh? Uh, but you asked me about women leadership. You know, already the women around, and you can see they, they are offering different type of leadership. But, you know, when it comes now to hitting the road, when the rubber mats meet the road, you know, the field has more men. The political field has more men than women. So you might now think it is, it is a catwalk or a lady's game and find that you are handling 10 men, one woman. So it becomes very difficult mm. to appear no more or to behave no more. Does it, will that make it difficult for people like you running oh, in Homer Bay, in places like Homer Bay? Does that make it difficult? Jeff, it's difficult because the things women have to deal with, men mm. don't have to deal with. Yeah. For example, you don't have to get married and leave your home and go elsewhere. If you, I, I was born in Kisumu County. I'm married in Homer Bay. I have a home. I have children. I have every, my, for every intent and purposes, my home. Where I will be buried if is I Homer die Bay. is Homer Bay. But now it's a question of you don't come from here. You don't belong here. Go to another. The, where I, so the, these issues um, are, are, uh, are, are issues that put women at a disadvantage. And, and, and therefore, that is what necessitated the need even for affirmative action. And even political parties must look inwards and see mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. can we hold hands of women um, to get them to positions, because the, le the playing field, if we said the playing field was level, we'd be lying. It's not level. The, fa the playing field is tilted, and it favors the men. And Baba says many times about how if a woman is running against a man, if Alice is running against a man in, in, in Kandara or, or elsewhere, you know, if you're, if you're married in there, then the man will say, this one, I played with him in class three. This one is the path we used to follow when we were going to the lake. This is the path we used to do what? And, and you, you have to come in and, and leave your family and all those, your peers, and come back and, and compete. It's not it, a walk, it, it, it's it's, not a walk it's in a the It's a displacement, park. Jeff. It's, yeah. it's a form of, for a woman to marry in another county, which will happen and it is happening, yeah. and then you have to make that your home. Yeah. It's a form of displacement. Because like she has said, you have to get new networks, new yeah. contacts, new families, and therefore you have to first deal with that. And then for the campaign period, these people will start saying you don't belong there. Notwithstanding that you have their children, it's your home, like she has said, and before you were working and 
you know, in, interacting with them. Yeah. You, yeah. you could even be the main support system in that particular least, family. But Jeff, having said but, that, yes. we are ready. But we are ready, We are Jeff. prepared. Those are just challenges. We are moving forward. Those are challenges, but we are overcoming them. But the we'll voters have more and women the country, Jeff... Yeah. And Homer Bay will be one of one of them, and there'll be several others. Let, let, let and at least, me, at least you agree on one thing. Which is, hold on, hold on. That uh, we must increase the number of women. That's right. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. At least you agree and, and on the, something. The, part, the parties and the government on. must partner. Yeah. The parties and the government. The okay. government has a role. Let's see what the people are saying. Okay. Let's go to the magic wall and the tweets, my goodness. Well, she can bash us too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yes, Cornelius says. Ask Moishimua, well, uh, well man, if the deputy president doesn't pick a running mate from the mountain. What will they do? Mm -hmm. mm. Go on. Okay, the picking of a running mate is not a one person's affair. It's a party affair and our partners. So you're just going to leave it like that? Yeah. Okay, who's going to be Baba's running mate just for our... It will not change our, f you know. Okay, our, 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 okay. Our, our, what about yeah. Baba's? We have a whole field out there. And we're looking. Hmm. <laughs> we hope it can be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Jonathan Muller says, to the two leaders, whichever side comes to power, how will they tackle the issue of political intolerance, such as the utterances that seem to pit communities and groups against each other? Mm -hmm. Good question there, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Mesh, National cohesion, we have to put people with the, with the right frame to do the work properly. That is one. But we need to maybe speak more about it and uh, tell Kenyans not to tolerate. Okay, may I ask yeah. real quick? Hey, I think we, we have to deal with it. I think currently the way the law is you know, handling those who speak uh, incitement is good. We have to tighten it. Lakini pia, to endelena azimio la umoja. <laughs> you had to put that in, huh? Okay. <laughs> Lester Cobb says, kindly ask Madame Alice what the law says with regard to the term of the DP. The term? Yeah. Can a sitting DP seek to be elected as president before his term is over? Or is he supposed to? Yes, there is a period within which, for the next general elections, you are allowed to either choose a party, another party, and also apply for a fresh term you must apply it before. So he will be continue being a sitting deputy president like I, we shall continue being members of parliament. We will not vacate. Parliament does not dissolve as such. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Wycliffe Orwa is asking, does the mass defection of ANC members from the party send any signal to UDA? Should the sentiments by Muthama send some signal to Musalia? I think you mentioned that a little earlier on, right? Mm. Go on, Mesh. We, we, quite, we are quite okay. We are very confident. Those us, you know, it's, it's a new marriage. There will be one or two teething problems, but we, ha we are capable of dealing with that. And th there is no cause of alarm. There is no need for panic. We are okay. Mudama was misquoted. <laughs> when that statement is made, you know something is terribly wrong. Yeah, he was misunderstood. <laughs> he said so. He when said a politician so. says I was misquoted. He said he was mis he was misunderstood. Exactly how he wishes he, to be. He was misunderstood. He just needs and somewhere to throw the yeah. the, mm. the skunk. Okay. Mm. So I'll just we we are quite it. confident. We're doing well. Oh, very well. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Blaise Maura is asking, mm. what an impressive list of socialist agendas by ODM. Quick question. Considering the fact that the country is broke, where are they planning to get the money to finance all of these? More loans? We are broke. Higher taxes? Um, I think uh, we've been very clear on this matter, which is that we must tighten up uh, corruption. We must tighten up corruption. We must deal with corruption, family. If we do, 300 billion a year will be saved. Surely, can't you find the agendas we've said? And if we, and, and apart from that, just tightening up wastage, just dealing with issues of uh, you know, austerity and focusing more on social security, and, and, and that's important. But remember, we are not on social security alone. We are also on industrialization, affordable housing. Baba is big on on those as well. Yeah. Today, I just outlined but a few because the show can only accommodate so much. But you know his 10-point agenda. Yeah, but Jeff, social security has never been an answer to an economic, uh, an economy that has been run down. 
we need to create more money to be for people to be able to meet their own their, their, their own needs mm -hmm. and and jeff that's exactly the point. We are bringing up everyone. How do you bring up everyone? You continue to create wealth, but then your lowest of lowest, you don't ignore. No, no country, even in the developed world, even with big economies, ignores their, their poor. They give them safety nets mm. so that they are at the same level. Okay, um, someone's uh, saying young women, a lot of them are watching you right now. If you were to give them one tip, in for getting into politics, or would it be? First. It's doable. They must be resilient. They must be committed to the cause. It's not easy. They will manage. Yeah. So, so just believe in yourself and uh, don't think it's about money. Jump in. If you believe in it, follow it. Money will follow you there. Mm. We didn't start at having anything, yeah. my own experience. Yeah. I started with nothing. And, and, and if your ideas are good, they will convince people and people will come on board. So don't be afraid that mm. I don't have the money to join because that's what's putting off many politicians. Yeah. Engage, engage, engage. Mm. Well put, well put. Uh, Lisa Cole is asking, these two ladies, very mature in their debating. I like them all. Uh, Honorable Wahome should reconcile with the president. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> good. Yeah, if I beat him, I'll give him a hard shake. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says you'll capture your seats and wishing you all the best. Okay, final thoughts going forward <laughs> as a nation at this point in time. Yeah. Go on. Millions of people are listening and watching you right now. As a nation, we will have elections on 9th of August. We hope, I, I believe, and uh, we are putting everything in place for the UDA and its teams to win the next general elections. We will make a difference because we intend to have an economic revolution so that life starts being different this coming September. But we must demand accountability for the new government. We must demand free, fair elections, but Kenyans also must vote. So right now, they must register to be voters. I, I, I mean, and I think that is the minimum mm -hmm. that we can expect from them. Yeah. But we will have free and fair elections. That's what we're looking for. No monkey business. We must also demand that uh, there should be no violence. And the security teams must not take sides. They must be the neutral security officers that give police service to everybody. We hope we don't see any, any bloodshed. And that is achievable. I believe it is achievable. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, but our president must remain the, state, the statesman in the whole affair, the statesman holding the country together as the, the contestants take each other on. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. I think, uh, one, re people must register. Young people must go out there, get IDs, get your vote. That's your voice, regardless of how you're going to use it. Mm. Go out there, register to, register to vote. Secondly, for the young women, the women thinking of joining politics, jump in there. We can't get the seats unless we run. So let, let us just have the courage to run. If you're thinking of just run. Thirdly, as, as candidates go around asking for the presidential vote, Kenyans must, must scrutinize the track record of the candidates that they're following. Have they kept their promises in the past? Do they have a track record of keeping their promises or of broken promises? If somebody gives you a promise and they didn't keep the one for yesterday, don't believe them today. Stick to somebody who has kept their promises in, in this day. And, and for today, we are safe in Baba's hands. It is a legacy of kept promises. Let's go with Azimio Laumoja. Gladys Wanga. Mm. Woman Web Homer Bay. <laughs> and you forgot to say you're running for governor, but I'll just and, say you're um, buying. <laughs> yes, running for governor. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to come back with a governor. Of yeah. course, I'm running for Kandara here. constituency yeah. for the third term. Yeah. Well done. And of course, I hope for better. You know, I mean, I'm looking for better and bigger spaces, political spaces. Like what? For me and like, for women. Like? DP. Even the president. <laughs> but before the president, you must DP. get... DP. I'm not a DP. I'm not a DP. 
Yeah. I told <laughs> Wanga that one you are given, eh? Yeah. Lakini ninatosha. Anatosha. <laughs> Umesema. <laughs> 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 Wengine pia wanatosha. Wamesikia. Wengine pia wanazimio by the way. Yeah, wengine pia. Wanta woman DP. Yes. Wengine pia wametosha. Kuna mama washikilie viti. Wengine pia. Ladies, it's great talking to you. Thank you for your advice. Thank you for the debate. And thank you for, you know, giving us a lot of hope. And we wish you all the very best. Thank, thank you, Jeff, for having us. You are most gracious. Wonderful. And today you've let us talk. <laughs> and Make just it more often. Like I said, you made my job very Wait, easy today. Yes, so much. Make it more often. Definitely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Wow. Call me alone. Call her alone. <laughs> the way you do that, friend of yours, eh? <laughs> then we can talk about the running <laughs> mate or governor, you know? All right. If, if you're chosen as running mate, then you can come. No, don't give precondition. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were partner, uh, okay. partnering with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate it. Have a great week <laughs> and keep mm. watching Jeff uh, Kanangi Live every uh, Wednesday. Wow, it's going to get even hotter and hot. I forgot to use the extinguisher here. I know. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good luck. God bless you all. Where are you doing? What's that? Natosha. Hello.